In this video, we'll go over how to create an e-learning course from where to begin, how to make your course attractive and engaging, and how to make your content accessible. Start by defining the purpose of the course by answering this question. What should a learner be able to do after finishing the training? Then figure out your targeted audience and take a closer look at your prospective learners. The easiest and most comfortable way to manage the training process is with the help of a learning management system, or LMS. It will let you automate a lot of functions like invitations, course assignment, and results tracking. You'll also need an e-learning toolkit so that you can create interactive courses with quizzes, videos, and dialogue simulations. A great example of such a toolkit is iSpring Suite. Okay, it's time to map out the course or create a storyboard. A storyboard is a document, slide deck, or prototype in which the training developer lays out the framework for the course. Now that you know the structure of your e-learning course, you need to write a script. You may skip this step if you're not going to include a voiceover in your course. It's time to put all the content together in a course. We'll do this with the iSpring Suite Authoring Toolkit. iSpring is a PowerPoint-based tool, so if you already know how to use PowerPoint, it'll be very easy for you to start creating courses there. Simply populate the slides with the text, images, and videos by following your storyboard. Audio and video can serve as great assets to support the text on the slides. Since you already have your narration script ready, you can now record a voiceover. This is easy to do right from iSpring Suite. It has a built-in audio recorder that allows you to record your audio narration and easily sync it with animations and transitions on the slides. When you're ready, select Record. After you've finished recording, you can go to Manage Narration for editing options. iSpring Suite also includes a professional video studio that enables you to record your screen with webcam and audio. This tool has all the necessary features to make professional looking videos. Next, let's talk about quizzes and tests. These are primary tools for checking knowledge in e-learning. You can create quizzes with the iSpring QuizMaker tool. It has 14 question types, including matching, sequence, hotspot, fill in the blanks, and drag and drop. If you want your sales staff or any other employees to improve their communication skills, one of the best ways to do it is to create a dialogue simulation. This is an interactive exercise that imitates an actual conversation with a person and helps people master communication skills in a risk-free environment. iSpring Suite includes the Talk Master tool that allows you to make realistic simulations quickly and easily. A great way to save time on course development is to use iSpring Content Library that offers a large set of characters of different ages, ethnic groups, and professions, and a huge collection of locations suitable for different situations. Finally, if you aim to make e-learning fully accessible for people with impairments, you need to create courses that comply with Section 508. It's convenient to prepare slides for your courses in PowerPoint since Microsoft itself offers ways to make your presentation accessible for learners. For example, you can use a screen reader, alt text, and built-in layouts for images. Courses created with iSpring Suite play well on any device, including PCs, Macs, tablets, and smartphones. However, before publishing the content, ensure that it displays perfectly on each device. You can do this in a few clicks by using a preview mode now that you've planned, designed, and developed your e-learning content, it's time to pull it all together by publishing your course. iSpring allows you to publish content in several ways. To My Computer, to iSpring Cloud Hosting and Sharing Service, to iSpring Learn LMS, to other LMSs, and to YouTube. Let's save it to My Computer. And there we have a full e-learning course. If you follow the steps we've outlined here, it should be a snap. 